What's going on, players and haters? It's your least favorite duels here. Today is a special video. Um, I didn't really... I made a deck, but I didn't make it. it. This was a suggestion from one of my, I guess, subscribers slash commenters. They wanted to see, like, um, a Bish Balkan uh, Red Eyes deck. So, I took a crack at it and tried to build something weird. And I did. Just, like, going for it, like, be forewarned, is, like, um, this deck is not very good. Just because, um, the boss monster here, uh, Bish Balkan needs, uh, level 8 monsters. And Red Eyes monsters are level 7. So, you had to get very specific hands to, um, pull off this deck. But it, I mean, it did its thing. So, uh, I got a couple replays today showing off. Oh, I don't need to know that the lights are on in the house. Got a couple replays just showing off the deck. I did win against some pretty crazy people, so um, let's get into it. Uh, we'll just start from the top. Got a bunch of replays. What was funny about this deck was that um, I did get quite a few wins, but not because of Vish Vulcan, more because I just had red eyes on the field and it just negated everything. But you'll see in a few replays. So the thing about Vish Vulcan, he gains, uh, like I always say, he gains a thousand attack for each monster on the field. And then um, he uh, can generate tokens. So the idea, the. Um, the idea with him is, is just to clog up the board and swing over things and just hit him for 6,000. Um, which is, like, very different from Red Eyes. You know, they do very different things. So, the main way to f summon a Bish Balkan is you need a Dragon Core Hexer. Because you need a level um, 8 or higher tuner and a level 8 or higher monster to match. So, right now, Dragon Core Hexer is the only one that I know that's that large um, as a tuner. So, you got to use a lot of level 8s. Which, I think the deck complements very well with the old um, Blue Eyes deck. Because they're level 8s. So, I guess right here, I'm just summoning Slash Dragon. It's turn 1. I, I tried to trim the deck as small as I could to, uh, to get, like, a... Uh, like, not very bad draws. So, I activate Wyvern here. He's gonna Floodgate. You know, he just banished my freaking Slash Dragon. I really can't do anything. So, I'm just gonna s try to swing in, I guess, and get banished again. Alright. So, I think right here I'm gonna go and do a Red Ice Fusion. Uh-huh. Okay. And so then, uh, I set my um keeper of the shrine here as well so keeper of the shrine is actually really good because you can bring out um dragon core hexer in the graveyard which is pretty handy and you can use it as a double tribute as well so let's see all right so i'm gonna keeper it looks like for another red eyes just go in and, and win so right here i didn't really use bish balkan all I did is just slap him with red eyes. So that's kind of like the nice thing. I, I would say that Fish Balkan is, um, he's kind of like a follow-up thing that you can do, which is pretty handy. All right. I will say that he is really good against six samurai though, because you could clog up their board to like not let them use dual wield and other stuff too, which is pretty funny. And then you get so large that, like, they literally cannot do anything. So, there's that. Alright, so, the usual play. Bring out Slash. Attack. Oh, got a Floodgate here. Alright, so we're going to go into Sheen on the other side. Then he's just going to beat over my Slash, unfortunately. We got another freaking Floodgate, and I'm just like, wow. Okay. Alright, so right here, um, I'm going to bust out the combo. So I'm going to level dupe, okay? So what level dupe does is you reveal a card in your hand, and then it matches the monster on the field. So I turn him level 8. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my Cosmo Brain 
to bring out a level 8 tuner, go into Bish Balkan, spam tokens, and then just start smacking them in the face. Now the thing about uh, this, this guy right here is that he cannot attack the turn that you uh, summon tokens, but you can summon tokens on either like on either turn, which is pretty powerful. So you could just keep spamming tokens. But the only thing too is um, they have to match. So if you summon one token on your side, they're only gonna get one on their side. And same thing if you only have him uh, by himself, two for two, one for one, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I'm just gonna activate this because I can. Okay, so he uh, attacks with his Anishi to bring, I guess, bring out this dude. Sure. Maybe he just wants to draw a little bit more cards. So I'm just going to start swinging in. I can't summon any more tokens with Bish Balkan because I already have my field is already clogged. He's just doing six samurai crap. You know. Oh, he goes into our mateys here. And then he's going to smack my token. Doesn't really matter here. I just smack him in the face. And there you go. So you literally just like, once you get Bish Balkan out, you can counter six samurai fairly easily. So it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, I'll show the deck after the replays, I guess. It's not the greatest of decks, like I said. If you want to copy it, sure, go right ahead. But I personally don't think the deck is very good. I only did it for my fellow viewer. Uh, his name is... Well, I'll leave his name silent. I, I won't say it, but... He wanted to see it, so I did it. If you guys want to see other stuff, if I can make it, I'll try it out and try to win with it. So It's not a d big deal. Alright, so right here we're playing against some uh, Toon World. So he blows up my Return of the Red Eyes, which just brings out another Red Eyes, which is hilarious. Alright. And he's going to Chocolate Magic Lady. Okay. Oh, I remember this deck. I was playing against it. I remember this one. I was like, dang, that's cool. Like, I should level up Pegasus at some point. So I'm just playing Red Eyes, you know? Like, I just take out his Toon Dragon so he can't do anything. Uh, he's going to bring out another Toon. Uh-huh. And he just quits. That's right. Okay. So he just quits on me. And I was just like, okay. Um... I think these are all Phantasmal Lord replays, I believe. I tried to get five so that way I could showcase the deck to its like fullest potential, I guess. But I don't know, like that's just the way I thought of building the deck. So Cosmo Brain definitely is like the main component in here with Dragon Hexer. Just because you have to um you can use them to pretty much bring up the full combo. For the most part. If he was level 8, then you would be Bish Balkaning all day. Okay, so... Okay, so we're playing against Dark Lords. Sure. So he's just doing his Dark Lord shenanigans, you know. Nastin into... Desire. Blah, blah, blah. Here comes the Desire. He smacks over it. So now we're just going to Cosmo Brain into Cosmo Brain, I think. Yeah. So we're going to Cosmo Brain into Cosmo Brain just to get over that desire, because we don't really want to deal with it. And then he just quits, because we can bring out a Slash Dragon. <laughs> sure. I think, I mean, for what it's worth, this build is like super budget friendly. All it was was three. Well, not super budget friendly. It was three. Um, of two structure decks, so the Blue Eyes deck and the Red Eyes deck. I used, you know, I had three copies of each, so that's how I pretty much made the deck. And then Dragon Core Hexer, I believe, is you just get it from, uh, oh, okay. I guess we'll watch a replay of Heretic Dragons with um, Bish Balkan. So, this is like another idea that I, I think this is my original idea with uh, Bish Balkan here. So, um, pretty much we're just going to, um, be tributing off into cheating out Dragon Hexer. Alright. 
There you go. And there's Blue Eyes. Make Bish Balkan. Smack things in the face, you know. And I was like, oh, okay. Here goes my Dragon's Rage. So he's trying really hard to get super big, but I think I'm just going to smack him in the face here. And the other thing that Bish Balkan can do too is it's immune to... Uh, He's immune to uh, destruction. He can't be destroyed by card effects. So it's a pretty cool card. He's gonna try to try mid pulse, doesn't work. He tries to blow it up again. There you go. Some people don't read cards. All right, and that's it, but we'll go to the deck to show you if you wanna like hurt your brain, I guess. You need level augmentation with this. That's like the only way you could pull this off. Otherwise, you'd have to depend on drawing two, dra uh, like having a dragon hexer in hand and having it um, in the deck. But here it is right here. So I did do a little bit of uh, like tuning, I guess. So, and then we're running level eight warriors as well. So if uh, there was one game where I did get out of like a black cluster soldier and then I had a Dragon Hexer and I made it that way, but it really wasn't an interesting game. But that's it. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Um, I'm going to be trying out, I think the next request I got was like a Neutron Blast Ultimate Blue Eyes Dragon deck. So be on the lookout for that one. And then after that, I'm going to be doing some Black Desert. I'm going to try that out for mobile. Give my review, the first 30 minutes of gameplay. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces!